Hey guys, what's up everybody? Hey, I finally found something I was looking for. I've been looking for it for a while. I finally found me one. What? You already see the back. It's pretty cool. It's a W9. Anyway, it looks pretty sweet. Oh my God, come on. No vibration, no shaking. All right, it's going to vibrate a little bit, guys. I, I just left Kenworth and three or four days ago, I busted a cab shock. How the hell are you gonna bust a cab shock? Well, I'll tell you how I busted a cab shock. I pulled up to this shipper, right? And it's got a, uh, it's got a uh, scale there. And you guys see a lot of times they got scales. They got a little ramp going up that comes down on it. And I pulled up, like I'm going up on the scale and then I cut back down where the truck kind of like, you know, went like that. And I guess for the cab pulling over, it just broke my cab shot. And then I spend the next day riding down the road and the daggum truck is creaking and popping and cracking. And I pulled over like four times. Four times I pulled over. Got my flashlight out looking at my frame. I was like, what in the hell did I do? I mean, I, I, thought, my I thought my tank was about to fall off. I thought my I, I cracked my frame or actually had my frame break in two. And I was like, man, I, I'm scared to death to ride down the road. <laughs> oh man, that was funny. But I finally found the culprit because thank God for a leaky shock. When I busted my cab shock, uh, all that oil started coming out and made a mess over, over my tank. But anyway, I just uh, left Kenworth and got me some uh, two new pack car Ken, uh, cab shocks. And let me tell you guys about this. I was in, I, I was, I done a reset, another reset at the uh, Livingston TA here in California. And I went and talked to the shop last night and they said, oh yeah, we can do that, you know, let's get a price quote. And the girl came back out there after I dropped my trailer and stuff and uh, she came back out there and she's like, huh? She's like, I, I'm on, I, I know I work here and everything. She said, but uh, I don't suggest you do this. I said, what? She said, yeah. She said, I called about the shops and TA's price is $138 for one shot. I was like, wow, you kidding me. I said, you know that's double price, right? She's like, I don't know what they call. She said, but I know that's expensive. I said, well, I said, I can get them back home for like 70 bucks. I said, yeah, I, was like, I believe I'm going to go on, on down the road. I said, I'll stop at the uh, Kenworth down in Fresno. And uh, I stop. I get on down there today. I stop at Fresno. Go in there. List price is 80 bucks. And I kind of looked at him. I said, you know you're going to come in deal, right? I said, what you gonna give me, give me a deal at? I said, I ain't J.B. Hunt, Snyder. I said, I ain't got that multi-million dollar backing. I said, I'm just a poor old owner-operator, man. You know you're gonna hook me up, right? He said, yeah, let me see what I can give you. Uh, he grabbed his calculator, done a couple digits, and uh, he said, uh, I can do them for $60 and some change. I said, well, sounds like I need two of them. So, uh, and then I grabbed a keychain to uh, put on my key. This is like four bucks. Just a little plain Jane. I would pull it out and show it to you, but yeah, I'm driving. And uh, the total came to 135. So from TA versus going down to uh, Kenworth and buying actual, you know, I, you know, buying pack car from the uh, dealer, uh, it was basically half the price. So keep that in mind, guys. Next time you want to get some. Oh God! Come on now. I can't wait to get the cab shock off. I feel every vibration. I know the rest of my suspension is working over time. Well, probably not. I don't think so. But I know that other cab shop and my airbags on my cab, my sleepers, uh, I know they're working over time. Hang in there, baby girl. I'm gonna get you to the shop and <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna smooth this ride back out. But yeah, I feel like I'm kind of sitting like this, but you know. I'm just a poor old owner operator, man. I ain't got that kind of money just throw out. I mean, that bill, she quoted me that bill and it was gonna be $378 or something like that. And I was like, uh, yeah, no. So I went and I've already saved $142 just for the product, just for the, just for the shocks themselves. So I'm gonna stop up here in, at the Loves and Tehachapi and uh, uh, last time my brother got some cab shocks put on there, they just built him a 
flat 50 bucks. So say I can get it for 50 bucks. That's gonna be 135 plus 50. So we're talking $185. But TH quoted me like 368. Might have been 378. I think it's 378. Just say 370. Uh, and I should be able to get the job done for about 180. Both replaced. But man. I just can't get over how the TA, you know, a second, third, a fourth, not even, maybe a fourth rate shop. Those guys are just people off the street working on, you know, these trucks. They, I, I'm sure there's some in there that knows what they're doing as far as light mechanical work. But you can't, uh, man, this right here. I'm sorry, guys, I really am. But I'm just showing you, man, what we owner operators got to go through sometimes. We gotta, we gotta go through the road, go down the road, just, just, just feeling everything. Ever, 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 every little crinkle in the road, I feel it. Cause my driver's side cap shock, she gone, she gone. But I'm gonna get on down here and get it fixed. I just want to share the difference of using a TA um, versus doing some of your stuff, you know, on your own. Uh, what I mean by that is going to the dealership and buying it and don't take whatever price they give you. Don't take that as the given price. Just look at them and say, I know you're going to give me a discount, aren't you? More than likely, more than not, I usually get a discount. Uh, but if you ask not, you get not. So ask them, get that discount. But whatever you do, do not pay a TA to go get something for you. If you got a damn, take a damn cab. And, and drive, you know, get somebody else to take you to the dealer and get it. Then can bring the part back. Do that, do that. Uh, there's another YouTuber, I, I just commented on one of these posts the other day, is old Trevor Brown, he's talking about his starter. And I, I commented on, on, on the, I put a post on there, I was like, listen man, just get you a starter back home at a good price, put it on the truck. So when it does crap on you, you've already got it. Otherwise, if you're on the road, they're gonna rape you. They're gonna rape you. Anyways, yes. Yeah, I think that's about all I want to talk about for the moment in this video. Talk to you later. Oh, sorry. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, till the next video. See you. Bye.